ChatGPT has led the AI race for so long that many people refer to it as a major pioneer. However, there was one problem. For the longest time, GPT would tell you that it didn't have access to information or events that happened after 2021. When others like Google Bar joined the race, they were able to have that edge over ChatGPT for quite a while, being connected to the internet and all. It felt like ChatGPT was left in the dust, being stuck in the past, unaware of what's happening post-September 2021. But the tables are turning. OpenAI has just flipped the switch, and ChatGPT is now also able to access the internet in real time, and we are so here for it. We'll be diving deep today into how this evolution is set to revolutionize our interactions with ChatGPT. From its real-time knowledge power to even an upcoming voice conversation feature, there's a lot to unpack. Curious about how this new move might change your digital life? Stick around as we unwrap this fascinating update. Alex Shepard here, AI Nexus. I know we just released a video talking about how ChatGPT has been upgraded with some talking and seeing features. And now it seems OpenAI has led to talk with the internet as well? What is happening? Is this real life? This is... Do you realize how fast this is happening? Things are about to get nuts in the AI landscape. This is changing at a rate faster than even I thought was going to happen. You ready to unravel the new chapter of ChatGPT's internet journey? Let's jump right in. You know how annoying it is when you're chatting with ChatGPT, asking it questions as you do, and bam, it says this. Sometimes it feels like talking to a friend that's just stuck in the past. Well, not anymore. OpenAI has just unveiled that ChatGPT is now surfing the web. This means it's no longer stuck in the past and can now give you updates on current events, latest trends, news, and so much more. It's like giving ChatGPT a new pair of eyes to see the world as it is now, in real time. If you're wondering if this is a feature that cuts across all of GPT, then you'd be right to think so. Initially, this feature won't be available to non-premium GPT accounts and is rolling out for the premium users first. So if you're one of them, lucky you. You get the first taste of asking ChatGPT all about what's happening around the world right now. But don't worry, it's going to be available to everyone soon. OpenAI is just as eager as you are to bring everyone on board. I'm excited. I'm actually really eager to see how ChatGPT is going to interpret real-time information instead of pre-trained data. Interesting, huh? Imagine the possibilities, though. You can ask about the latest earthquake updates, political shifts, and even whether Donald Trump is still, well, you know, around. No more, I'm sorry, but I cannot provide real-time information responses. This is a game changer, people. We're entering a world where ChatGPT now functions as your real-life search engine. All right, I could sit here and talk to you guys all day about how I'm going to personally use a connected to the internet chat GPT, but they gave me a script and, well, I should follow it. They're pretty good. I like them. Yeah, I'm off script right now. That's just how it goes. All right, let's dive into what this really means for you and, well, the world. As a tech enthusiast, staying abreast of the latest in technology and gadgets is vital. With ChatGPT, you get instant updates on product launches, tech trends, and reviews, ensuring you're always ahead in the tech world. In all these scenarios, ChatGPT acts as a personalized, real-time information assistant, making your life easier by providing quick, consolidated, and up-to-date information, allowing you to make informed decisions and stay updated without the hassle of searching through multiple platforms. The key, of course, is also to use this tool responsibly, ensuring the information's accuracy by cross-verifying when necessary. Thomas Shamaro Premizik, a professor at University College London, summed it up best. If this functionality or capability weren't there, you'd probably be spending your precious time on search engines or news outlets. Remember the last time you went down an internet rabbit hole like, say, Twitter and Google just trying to find a simple answer? I know I do. Those days might have come to an end. Imagine you're a student working on a research project about a rapidly changing topic, such as climate change or the global response to COVID-19. Instead of wading through a sea of outdated articles, you could ask ChatGPT for the most recent and relevant information, studies, and statistics. It becomes an invaluable tool for accessing timely and accurate data for your academic work, enhancing the quality and relevance of your research. Or imagine this scenario. You are preparing for a college presentation, or maybe you're in the midst of a heated debate about climate change and you need the most recent statistics. Before, you need to hop onto Google, sift through articles, figure out which one isn't from a dubious source, and then frame your argument. Tedious, right? Now you can just ask ChatGPT. It's as if you've got a knowledgeable buddy right there with you, ready to offer the latest data at a moment's notice. Not gonna lie though, this reminds me of the 90s, but instead of them saying, oh, you heard it from the internet, people are gonna start saying, oh, ChatGPT told you, huh? Yeah. Anyways, 
Maybe you're a busy person, juggling work, studies, and personal life, and it's crucial for you to stay updated with the latest news. Well, instead of scrolling through multiple news websites and social media platforms, you can simply ask ChatGPT. Just a quick, hey, what are the latest headlines today? And you're equipped with the top news without the hassle of searching through various sites or your friend's mom's crazy Facebook posts. This immediate access to information not only saves time, but ensures you're always in the know. But here's a thought. You know when you're flipping through channels and some channels seem to show real news while others, well, they might stretch the truth a little. Chemeru Premizik warned us that this capability can be a double-edged sword. It's a blessing to get quick answers. But if ChatGPT starts serving answers without clear sources, how do we differentiate between the real deal and the stretched truths? Think about that viral meme or tweet you once believed was true. Yeah, that's never happened to me. Not once. Stop looking at me. All right, fine, it's happened a lot. Leave me alone. There's a thin line between accuracy and misinformation, and that line is about to get even blurrier. In fact, the regulators are already jumping in. Earlier, the Federal Trade Commission expressed their concerns to OpenAI about the possibility of ChatGPT unintentionally spreading false info. It's kind of like that game of telephone we played as kids. By the time a message gets to the end, it could be a whole different story. OpenAI, though, has reassured that they're on it, collaborating with the FTC to ensure your trust isn't misplaced. Let's answer a very obvious question. If this is such a game changer, why didn't they roll it out earlier? Well, behind the scenes, it's not just a switch of the flip. Every time you pose a question, there's a cost involved for OpenAI. Yeah, each query chips away a few cents. It's not just about the cash, though. They've had their safety goggles on. By not letting ChatGPT access real-time info earlier, they ensured it couldn't spit out potentially harmful or false data that it might stumble upon. It's been a safety net. Now, in my experiences with AI, I got a feeling that this was kind of spurred upon by Google Bard. It's had access to the latest information from all over the web, which it can use to generate more comprehensive and accurate responses. For example, if you ask Bard, what are the latest developments in the war in Ukraine, it can provide you with a detailed summary of the latest news, including analysis from experts and on-the-ground reports. ChatGPT, on the other hand, would only be able to provide you with information that was available in September 2022 and below, which would be outdated and incomplete. In a nutshell, OpenAI needed to do this internet connectivity update for ChatGPT a long time ago to stay competitive. BART has been ahead of the curve in this area, which is a huge advantage, as it can access the latest information on the web and provide more comprehensive and accurate answers to questions. So friends, are you excited? Or are you a little cautious about what this could mean? Either way, one thing's for sure, the way we search and consume information is evolving right before our eyes. All right, Alex Shepard here, I gotta chime in real quick. With new innovations come new standards of use. So ChatGPT having access to the internet is going to be a new learning curve, especially if you never even use Google Bard. With that, we've compiled a couple of things that we think could probably help you out. Let's get into it. All right, like we mentioned earlier, this update is exclusively for the GPT-4 users out there. But hey, don't sweat it if you're wondering how to hop on board and get access to this update. We've got the lowdown for you. There are search engines like Bing and a bunch of other plugins and extensions ready to lend a hand and hook you up. Let's dive right in and also cover some tips on how to go about it on your device. After some solid bug fixing, OpenAI now lets you browse with Bing natively on ChatGPT. It's a breeze to use. Head over to ChatGPT, click on Settings at the bottom left, move to Beta Features, and toggle on Browse with Bing. Select it from the drop-down menu in the GPT-4 model and you're all set to ask questions and get the latest info from the web. Remember, this is a feature for ChatGPT Plus subscribers, costing $20 a month. Looking for another method? The Keymate.ai search plugin has got you covered. After enabling ChatGPT plugins, head over to the plugin store under GPT-4 and simply install the Keymate.ai plugin. Once you enable it from the drop-down menu, you're free to ask questions and the plugin will scour the internet for the latest information. Despite being a paid feature, it's worth the investment as it pulls in details from multiple sources, unlike some other plugins. Or maybe you're on the lookout for a free option, totally understandable. The Web Chat GPT Chrome extension is your friend. Install this free extension, make sure the web access toggle is on, and start asking questions. It will pull in information from the web, keeping you updated with the most recent information. Lastly, don't forget about Microsoft's Bing Chat, running on the GPT-4 model and having full internet access. Open Bing.com in your browser, hit the chat button at the top left, then start inquiring. It's a straightforward way to get information from the web using the GPT-4 model, available on every browser, including Chrome and Firefox. Then there you go. Several ways to connect ChatGPT to the internet, each with its own benefit. Whether you prefer a free or paid option, you have choices to stay connected and keep the information flowing. Give them a try and see which one works best for you. Happy browsing with ChatGPT.